D did you think it would be this comfortable for Liverpool at this stage of the game? Uh, no, uh, but they're capable of it. They've showed that all season, Dara. And what they did do well, and what I liked about them, was they weathered an early storm from Porto, first 10 minutes. Then they press high. They're on to any mistake a Porto player makes. And, of course, the goals came from that. OK, well, they, they did, as you say, weather that early storm. And the lead goal, Eamon, came after 23 minutes from Mane. Yeah, he needed a goal, I think. He wasn't playing particularly well. Um, but uh, look at all the orange shirts in Porto's half of the field. And uh, Firmino was involved, uh, Wijnaldum persevering, and in the end, the goalkeeper. It comes to a bad throw from the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper does very poorly. Uh, Mane doesn't exactly strike it well, but it's good enough. It's over the line. It's an away goal. It's huge. There's Wijnaldum, which, who Liam picked out before the game, persevering. Uh, and going through and showing more desire. I, the, Liverpool have showed more desire than Porto, uh, and they've, with Milner and Henderson in midfield, they've managed the game well. It's been a, a reasonable tempo uh, and a good performance, very safe. Yeah, I think Milner has covered more ground than any other player on the field in the first half. Uh, four minutes later, Richie, it got mm. even better for Liverpool. Porto were, com were complaining about a, a free kick, they thought, a foul by Milner in the build-up to this. Yeah, I don't know what the, uh, the, the complaints are about. I mean, the first goal was a result of very, very poor goalkeeping, but this is the, the good part of Liverpool's play. We've talked about it all night. Milner here is the one who's pressing. He's got a lot of bodies forward, and Porto just back off and a yard or two too long. He hits the post. But brilliant, brilliant play from Salah. This is the incident they're complaining about. The referee's in a really good position. I don't see that as a foul at all. You can see Salah here at the bottom of the screen. Is his hand up, but watch him here now. He, he's clearly onside, but he goes quicker. The defenders, just for a moment, flat-footed. Tellez, he gets us back on the line. The brilliant first touch. We spoke about it. You know, his pace, his eye for a goal. Second his, and third went back. Set, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just so much composure to do that with so little time and so much pressure. Brilliant finish, and that four-minute period really has put him in a commanding position. Now. It certainly has. And, and we've seen, Liam, many examples of just how... Uh, this pressing game that well, Liverpool Both goals played. have come yeah. from pressing, Dara. Both goals have come from pressing. And if you, if you try to play out against Liverpool, you're asking for trouble because they really do go quickly. And if it's not the first one doesn't get it, the second one doesn't get it, the third one will get it, you know? They're in behind one another very quickly, uh, you know, pressurising the ball, nowhere for Porto to go. This was after about 10 or 15 minutes. They get it back then and under counter-attack. Now, you watch Henderson here close this ball down. It's a bad clearance from the goalkeeper. Henderson is onto it, and you're in with a scoring chance. This is Salah, we thought, maybe he should go on his own, but he did try and look for Mane. Look how high Liverpool are here. Uh, Porter don't clear the lines. Bad header. Milner's onto it straight away. Richie's absolutely right. It's not a free kick. He's a tremendous player, James Milner. What a player to have in your team. Can play anywhere, can play full-back. Uh, shows great skill there, bend it in, and Salah, as, we dis as Richie described earlier on, was mm. absolutely brilliant the way they finish it. So if, you, if you're asking for trouble, if you, if you do that against Liverpool. OK, guys, thanks for the moment.